A successful trio of days was wrapped up at Parkland Mall in Red Deer. The 10th annual stuff a -Bus campaign helps stock the shelves of the Christmas Bureau and the food bank. Almost $43,000 in cash, uh, literally thousands and thousands of pounds of food. I think uh, the food was somewhere around about $20,000 worth of food. We had a fantastic weekend. Lots of money and lots of toys, and that's what we were looking for. The numbers are staggering, and each year, Central Albertans step up to the plate and knock this fundraiser right out of the park. I shouldn't be amazed, but I am. It's unbelievable. They just keep coming and coming every year, and you see a lot of the same people and the generosity, and it's just amazing. You get to see it go from nothing on the Thursday morning to literally overwhelming, just mind-boggling. The sheer simplicity of the event is one of the reasons for its success. Both groups make it simple for people to donate whatever they can afford to give. They're at the mall shopping anyways, so they throw in a couple of bucks or bring up a check. It's just easy. We make it easy for them. Last year, the Christmas Bureau helped out more than 1,000 families, and applications for help this year are over that number. We have always had enough for our clients that come in, which is fantastic. We've never had to turn anybody away, so that's, that's great. It's much the same for the food bank, with the Stuff a Bus Hall allowing them to keep feeding families and individuals in need. It's just going to keep us going well into the new year and uh, we probably won't have to buy a whole lot of food other than the usual uh, perishable stuff like milk, meat, margarine. Uh, we won't really be doing a whole lot of purchasing until hopefully March. I'm Jim Claggett for Go Central.